Coach, you know this one is coming. What's but coming? Uh, was there any thought to getting Isaiah back a little bit earlier in the fourth quarter? No, one thing that, was, that they were doing, which we saw him do last night, is that they go into this pick and roll action with their big guards. And, it, and we needed to somehow not get into a, a rotation. We needed a big lineup to try. We needed stops more than anything else at that time um, because you know, we needed to get where well, we didn't have to switch or get into a red. We could switch off. And I thought our guys did a good job. I mean, you know, with Dirk and Winsky by switching and both things like that, you know, but obviously, um, you know, Isaiah played a great game for us, uh, but I just thought at that time we needed uh, more stops on the defensive side than we did on, uh, on the offensive side because we had a plus 14 at one time and kind of moved through the game plus eight, plus seven, plus five. Uh, they just, I mean, they executed their offense. Um, lines were a little different, so we didn't know that some of the coverages was new to us, and we messed up on a few coverages, and they, they capitalized on it. So they, I mean, they executed, and they won the game down the stretch. Getting that shot to force it every time. I mean, take a single play there. Uh, I mean, it just went in. You see, it went off the glass. So, I mean, DeMarcus passed it to me. It was, it was a play through DeMarcus just for him to be aggressive and, and if he can't find the open guy in the three-point line and um, I just caught it and shot it and went in. Isaiah, there was a, a point where you were about to check in again late in the fourth quarter and then it seemed like Coach called you back. You, what kind of happened there in, in that situation? Oh, I don't know. He just called me back. It was his decision um, and you got to go with that. So I don't, I don't know why, but he probably felt a certain way. I mean, he made the decision, so. <clears throat> like I like said, it was hard for us to get a stop. You know, uh, they did a good job running the pick and rolls, and they got in the paint and they made plays. How's your conditioning feel tonight? Oh, I was pretty good. You know, um, well, I played 31 minutes and I felt good out there um, running the floor. You know, getting layups. I think I probably made more left-hand layups than I ever did in my life. But you know, uh, it was a good feeling to be back out there. Uh, felt the same. Um, I really didn't play that much to, you know, really test it out. But, you know, um, no things happen. You know, um, just get back at it tomorrow and see how it feels. You got into the game a little bit late. Was that a little unexpected for you? Yeah, it was. You know, I, I didn't know what to expect, you know, from getting out there. You know, I didn't know how my angle was going to respond to. But, you know, it felt good for the you know, little time I was out there. At what point did you feel like you would be suited up going out? Uh, when I came in today, you know, I put my shoes on and stuff, and I, you know, actually felt good. So, you know, I told Pete and he was like, you know, his own coach or whatever. So I felt I can go.